Hi, I'm Ben Anderson and I'm the Principal Bass Trombonist with Orchestra Victoria. So coming up in, in one of our South Bank series programs, we'll be playing The Soldier's Tale or Histoire de Soldat by Igor Stravinsky. People probably know Stravinsky more for some of his big ballet scores like Firebird, Petrushka, Rite of Spring, which he wrote in a period between 1910 and 1913. And one of the things about those scores is the, the the orchestra that he used was getting bigger and bigger and bigger and almost a hundred musicians are involved in the performance of the Rite of Spring. But for The Soldier's Tale, he uses just seven musicians. Yeah, I think that's one of the things that's kind of quite fun about The Soldier's Tale is um, that uh, even though you sort of go from his bigger works, which are, you know, um, rich, richly orchestrated, um, when you come down to this little seven-piece ensemble, he still manages to kind of find um, textures and colours that are uh, really orchestral in quality. It's, it's quite masterful. Yeah, so the story of the soldier's tale is um, it's kind of a Faustian story. Uh, in the story there's a, a soldier who's returning um, from war and uh, on his way, on his march, on the way back home, he encounters the devil. At this stage the devil's disguised so he doesn't really know who, who it is, but um, he makes a deal with the devil um, to give up his violin, uh, which you get to hear lots through this piece. The violin's a really important musical theme. He gives up his violin in exchange for this magical book which lets him tell the future and gives him a whole lot of wealth and, and um, you know, resources. But like in most Faustian stories, uh, there's, there's not really a happy ending. Um, it's, kind of, it's kind of more a moral story of um, finding contentment with what we have rather than sort of seeking to get to get more resource or you know, wealth or whatever. I, I really love The Soldier's Tale and I've been kind of like uh, low-key pushing to do this with um, Orchestra Victoria ever since I joined. Um, I've been like uh, trying to trying to needle it into programming for, for years now. It's kind of like this mishmash of lots of different styles. He's got like a waltz, a tango, there's a ragtime. He um, uses uh, quotes from Bach and, and Lutheran chorales um, uh, and kind of underpinning all of that is this rhythmic language, this sort of jaunty like um, language, rhythmic language that always makes me kind of want to move and dance. It, I, I find it, it's both challenging but also really rewarding to play. Mm -hmm.